Plastered with graffiti and glue, a West Sacramento playground is targeted by heartless vandals. I'm disappointed. I can't believe that somebody would do this. What a waste of time. Children and parents arrived this morning to find a playground at Summerfield Park spray painted and defaced. This play structure is in West Sacramento on Linden Road near Brenda Way. And that's where we find CBS 13's Ron Jones with the story. Well, the writing is so disgusting, so disturbing at this playground. There's no way we're going to put it on television. And the parents we spoke with have one question. Why? Why does this happen? I don't even understand why somebody would do something like that. Barbara and Mark Bush bring their grandkids to the Somerville Park playground almost every day. And it's just awful. It's, there's no reason for it. And so does Debbie Bertrand. She first contacted CBS 13 about this story. Absolutely disgusted with it. Families can't believe what happened overnight. Having cuss words is not appropriate. Inappropriate words, gang markings, a play structure smeared with glue, and police crime tape draping the fence where young kids usually play. Kindergarten through sixth grade. Debbie, along with dozens of parents, dropped off kids at a nearby bus stop Wednesday morning. And when the children got a closer look, they were stunned. They're all looking at it. Most of them can read already. They know what it says, and they were asking questions. Why, Mom? You know, why, Dad? Children should be filling this playground with music and laughter. But it's silenced now with evidence of crime and blight. Parents say this park is only a few months old. They put a lot of time and effort to building this new park for kids and for families, and to have it already spray painted and tagged this early, this early on, just it makes me sad. No one has been arrested for the vandalism. Parents say city maintenance crews showed up to start cleaning up that graffiti today. We received this story from a viewer tip, and if you have a story suggestion, you can contact us through Twitter, Facebook, or you can send us an email to news at kovr.com.